Do you like creepy things? Because I do. We're going to make some Halloween-inspired barbed wire earrings. I get you, my pretty. <laughs> so we're going to make barbed wire earrings inspired for Halloween. And what you're going to need for this project is some 16 gauge wire, 20 gauge wire, something round if you've got a mandrel at home. So I'm going to use a nylon sizing drum just because that's what I have. And then you're going to need some ear wires. You're going to need your six step looping plier, um, a cutter, and your needle nose pliers. Okay, so to get started, we're going to need some 16 gauge wire. And I'm going to eyeball it, but it's probably going to be close to eight inches. And you're going to cut it. So you need two pieces of 16 gauge wire. So I'm going to go ahead and cut both of those. Now you have two pieces of your 16 gauge wire. And now you're going to take whatever if you have something round at home, I'm using this sizing drum and your 16 gauge wire, and you're just gonna start pushing that wire around. And then from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your needle nose plier and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna push one piece of that wire up into a 90 degree angle. And then you're gonna take this other piece and you're gonna push that into a 90 degree angle. So it looks, one's up and one is sideways. And then while it's still on your round object or your sizing drum, you're gonna take that wire and wrap it around the wire that's sticking up. So it looks like this when you take it off. And then you're gonna cut that little tail off. And then you're gonna take your wire and you're gonna push that over into a 90 degree angle. Then come up here, look, cut it to where it's kind of like half an inch. And then you're gonna take your six step bell making plier and you're gonna use the smallest step on your plier and you're just gonna roll that up. And that's the loop that your ear wire is gonna attach to. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the other piece of wire. Take it, wrap it around your sizing drum or your round object. Take your plier and one side up and bend second around and then wrap that wire around the piece that is sticking up cut off the tail push that wire over, take it off of your object or your sizing drum, come over, cut off some of that wire, leave enough so that you have enough wire to make your loop. Take your six step bell making plier and loop that up. And now you have your hoops. And now it's time to make the barbed wire. So this was made with 16 gauge wire, and now you're gonna take 20 gauge wire to start making your barbed wire. So first, we're gonna take this 20 gauge wire, and I like to have too much, then too little, this much. <laughs> and I'm gonna start up at the top of my hoop and I'm gonna just start wrapping around. I'm just gonna make a couple of wraps like this, and then I'm gonna start kind of wrapping 
down the hoop. Just kind of going, I'm leaving some space and just wrapping around the hoop until I get to the other side. Okay, and when you get to the top up here, you're just gonna do the same thing as you did on the other side. Now you're gonna bring those wraps tighter up here at the top. And then you're gonna cut off that tail. So I'm gonna come back over here because barbed wire, you know, it's got little pointy things. So I'm just gonna cut that off and leave that little bit sticking up and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. So now that you have wrapped it all around, now we're gonna come back in and put barbs all the way around your hoop. So still with that 20 gauge wire, you can cut off little sections and you're just gonna come in and I'm just gonna go down just a little bit from, so there's my first barb and then I'm just gonna come down here and start making little barb sets. So there's my first one and I'm just going to cut off to make it match my piece up there. I'm just going to cut some more 20 gauge wire and you're just going to keep doing that all the way down. You're just wrapping little sections. This kind of reminds me of Frankenstein's like stitch marking. So just keep doing that all the way down. So now that you have made all of your barbed wire all the way up, all you have to do now is add an ear wire. So here they are on my ears. They're super light and comfy. The barbs are not gonna hit your face. If you wanna add beads to these, you can, but I kinda like them just the way they are because I think it makes them a little bit more creepy. So if you want to make these earrings, let's go over the tools again that you're going to need. You're going to need some 16 gauge wire. You're going to need 20 gauge wire. You're going to need something round. I'm using a sizing drum. You're going to need a needle nose plier. You're going to need your six step looping plier and a cutter and an ear wire. If you want to pick up any of the tools we use today, check out the links below. What would you make for your Halloween jewelry? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. And now that you know how to make barbed wire earrings, you can say, I made this.